Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Friday, May the 3rd, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and we are having just a stellar day today. I'm here to read for us the entry from Hearing God Through the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson and based on Dallas Willard's book, Hearing God. Today's entry is entitled, The Power to Speak. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgressions, to Israel his sin. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. Those who understand what it is to speak for and with God are not mere tools, but they find God's word to be of great power. As the prophet Micah exulted in the power he felt surging within him, Jeremiah experienced God's word as a fire that scorches and like a a hammer that breaks rocks. Some may resolve not to speak for the Lord, but like Jeremiah, they find they must. Quote, If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more in his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. Close quotes. That's from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 9, from the New Revised Standard Version. J.B. Phillips said somewhere that while he was doing his well-known translation of the New Testament, he often felt like an electrician working on the wiring of a house with the power on. There's a thought to pray. Use Micah chapter 3, verse 8, the one that we opened up this devotional with, as a prayer, asking to be filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might. Pray about upcoming conversations and teaching opportunities. Pray that God's power will show itself. Dear friends, as always, I I commend you and thank you for listening as I read one of these compact but powerful devotional reflections written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. It is always a joy for me to serve you in this way. Now, I'm placing some information from the the devotional today in uh, in the description of the video so that you can use that to help springboard you into praying and contemplating about the truth that is presented here. And so I pray you'll take time to do that. And I also pray that you will take time to be with me tomorrow when I'll be reading the next entry. Being Saturday, that'll be the entry for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.